Hi, this is Christina with Road Legends. How are you? Road Legends. Road Legends. Okay. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> uh, where are you guys located at? We're located in Le Mans, Illinois, right next to I-55. Okay, so I Chicago area, yeah. Okay, so uh, another Chicago land? Man. Yep. Um, okay, <laughs> so... Uh, my name is Shine. I'm a driver for six years. Uh, I run a Facebook. Mm -hmm. I, I run a Facebook group. I am, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I have a I have a network of drivers that I network with, and mm -hmm. the Road Legends. Uh, I guess uh, ad came up in our group, and a lot mm -hmm. of the and a lot of the drivers, uh, you know, look towards bring it back to the group and share it with them. Um, mm -hmm. like I said, I, you know, I network with, uh, thousands of drivers across the country and, uh, mm -hmm. the information that they get from me is a value. So since, uh, road legends came up in our, in our feed, I thought I'd give you guys a call to see what you guys got to offer. You mind if I give you, you mind if I talk to you for a couple of minutes? No, I don't mind at all. Awesome. And Appreciate as I saw, it. actually, you're with Lookout Man, right? Yep, that is me. All right, well, yeah, I saw you guys, like, um, on the internet. There's just a couple of videos that popped up, and I know, like, that you're basically talking about the companies, like, what do they offer, mm -hmm. like, how do they operate, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, it's a really nice thing that you're helping the trucking community, especially the drivers in a driver to driver perspective. I appreciate it's it. It's really Thank awesome. Yeah. I only have a, I only have a few questions. So I, I do appreciate mm -hmm. you. I do appreciate for starters. I do appreciate your time and I don't, mm -hmm. and I don't want to, and what the limited amount of questions that I have, I don't want to take, too much of your time you see what i'm saying of course so, uh, yeah, for, yeah, of course. so for starters uh can you tell me a little bit about road legends and what the company has to offer well uh, we're in this business since 2007 and uh, we're like a mid-sized company have uh, 200 drivers which uh, 150 are lease purchase drivers and around 40, 50 drivers as owner operators. I said 40, 50 because uh, we still have people that are in the boarding process, including like today, a couple of owners that are starting to work today. Okay. So we're just expanding the fleet. We're growing fast and we work on a family like basis. Basically, like uh, we're like a huge family, not like the huge carriers that actually don't really care about the drivers. But, you know, like if a driver actually asks or just want to join a community or a company where he's going to be known or she as a person actually by their name and last name and not just by a truck number or a trailer number, uh, now, I would say that, you know, yeah. Now, now you guys, uh, you guys are just straight leasing company or do you guys have uh, company drivers as well or no? Uh, we do not have company drivers because our lease purchase is really successful. So that's what we're aiming for. Like, uh, because a really huge percent of our, uh, lease operators are paying off their trucks. That's why we just want to help them like, uh, finish the first step of being, um, successful like in the business and, and get their own trucks like become owner operators so that's what we have like lease purchase and we do have uh, people that are coming with their own equipment okay. so that's the two positions that we have right at this time okay so as far as as far as lease purchase uh mm -hmm. what what are what are the requirements of coming in to uh to do lease purchase with you guys um uh, first of all, like we do not request anything up front, so there's no money down and we don't do credit check and no balloon. We sort of have like in-house finance where a driver is not like investing anything up front, but they're paying off the truck uh, from their statement every week. And it's a walk away lease purchase, like completely with no any fees, penalties or punishments if they decide to actually uh, leave the company. And then like uh, only requirements is by safety because we have the perfect safety score and we want for it to be like that. So we just really care about safety and uh, 
our requirement is for the driver because I saw that that's one of the questions mm -hmm. uh, for them to have at least 24 months of experience with a CDO mm -hmm. class A and a decent driving record and ability to pass background check. I mean, by background check, I mean pre-employment drug test. Oh, okay. Now, as far as the drug test goes, is it hair follicles or urine? Well, sir, um, the drug test, uh, like uh, duty regulated, it's urine only, so it's not hair test. Okay. The FMCSA does not require a hair, a hair test, but uh, a urine only, so that's what we go for. Okay, awesome, awesome. In 99, the, and the driver is responsible for not only the payment of the truck, but he's also responsible for his benefits his benefits package is taxes and so forth and so on. But do you guys offer any help in that department as far as taxes and and or yes. uh, ben uh, benefits? Yes, sir. Because here's the thing, like we're a full service company. We offer all services that a driver would like to have with us. First of all, like we offer everything for the truck, including help with repairs, substitute truck in case of emergency, like the worst case scenario, trucks broke down for a couple of days or weeks, we're going to get the driver another truck, a substitute truck and temporary truck until they wait for their truck to get fixed. Um, there's a, like a warranty on the major components like engine blowout or transmission, whatever. Um, we also help with repairs. We have maintenance discounts, a maintenance account with savings. Also about when uh, it's a 1099, like independent contractors. When it comes to the health benefits, we can connect the drivers with a third party, let's say, uh, or just with a health broker, uh, insurance company, where they can purchase their own like uh, health insurance package. And we have uh, people like agencies that we can connect the drivers to when it comes to doing the taxes at the end of the year. So they are not like required to do the taxes on their own. Uh, they can ask for help and we're gonna just refer them to a couple of contacts that we have, like people that they can help uh, help them do the taxes at the end of the year. Okay, uh, percentage or cent per mile? Percentage and it's 75% of the load and they're free of charge for the trailer rental, mm -hmm. trailer maintenance, cargo and liability, ELD services. When it comes to the freight, freight is steady and consistent, loads are pre-planned, no sitting around, uh, so we can guarantee that we're going to do like our best, that we're going to keep the driver busy, are, keep them in the areas. Are we, mm -hmm. are, are we able to choose off the load board or, or, is, or is it all dispatched to us? Um, it's dispatched, but no force dispatch. Okay, so we can pretty much choose anywhere we want to go and choose anywhere we don't want to go. Yes. Would that would, with that ability to choose the where we want to go and where we don't want to go, would that hinder us with the dispatcher? Say for example, if the dispatcher wants us to take a load up to say uh, New York, Los Angeles, and let's say we don't want to go down that way, would that hinder us if we if we turn that down too few many times? No. No, like, uh, let's say if, uh, there's, as you know, there's a lot of people that actually are avoiding certain places as in New York City. So we know, uh, like, how it is in the trucking business, and even though if it's not going to be New York City, but some other area, if the driver wants to avoid that, we're not going to send them there. And sometimes when the driver is making, like, pre-planning the trip, for the driver, let's say they see a load that goes to New York City, which is really good paid, really good paid. And they're gonna um, like call the driver, let them know, but just let them know, because we know that you don't wanna go to New York City, but we're gonna say like, okay, this there's one that um, that's going that way. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No, I don't wanna go to New York, all right? Okay. No worries. We're, we'll go for the next one. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. We that always good. offer the drivers, you know, like, what do we see? Because um, maybe some drivers are actually saying, okay, I am not going to New York City, but if there's like really, really good, 
something that that's really awesome with good rates that goes there, they accept the load, the All load right. sometimes. All right, very yeah. good. That's awesome. that's why. All right, so as far yeah, as the, as far as the equipment goes, uh, what equipment do you guys offer, and what are they governing that? Um, we work with KW's T680 models. Uh, we've recently got the 20, 2020 uh, diamond packages, uh, KW's with Tripack, Thermoking, APUs, mm. improved fuel efficiency, double beds, fridges, power inverters, um, uh, bed heaters, 455 horsepower, governed at 70, 70 miles per hour, okay. both on pedals and cruise. But we also have them um, have those trucks 2019 up to 2022. So the oldest truck would be a 2019 how, or at least purchased. How, how much for the how much for the trucks a week? Um, the trucks are all, all just depending on what will be the specific truck age. We have them starting with 875, going up to 975 per week. That's what including interest rate and uh, the trucks payments are descending. They falls off every year until you're getting closer to end the lease purchase. Awesome. How long is the lease? Uh, four years, five years, three years? We have two, three, and five. Two, two for 2019, mm. three for 2020 truck, and five for 21 and 22. Oh, but okay. we have a lot of options. Okay. that We allow the driver to pay it off in one year before with a double truck payment. Also, let's say you're gonna the driver is gonna build up a maintenance escrow account, which is basically you know the savings for the maintenance on the truck. Once they're getting closer to pay off the truck, um, when they have some funds on their maintenance escrow, like four, five, six thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, like whatever they gather on the maintenance escrow, they can use those money towards paying off the truck, like in a couple of months earlier. Now, let me ask you this. Are we now being that this is an in-house uh, finance program um, mm -hmm. and let's say I decide to leave the company um, and I already paid into the truck, say, like maybe two years. Let's let's use that two years already. And I, I decide to leave. I say, hey, you know, I want to go ahead and go with another company or go somewhere else. Am I able to take the truck with me and continue to make payments to you guys? Um, well, in-house finance, I just mentioned that, but we do not work with, as in Schneider does, let's say they have their own finance company, SFI. Mm -hmm. That's like the real, actually, in-house finance that they had with checking the driver's credit, putting a large down payment, 10, uh, 20, 25%. And yeah, they're because able we to don't take do... their trucks to different companies. Yes. Oh, okay. And then, you know, like what those large companies offer is that if you want to go somewhere else and still have the truck, they ask for a certain amount mm, for gosh. you to move the truck to another carrier. But because we're totally like with no any obligation, but the only obligation would be for you to stay until the end of the lease purchase. Mm -hmm. That's why you just cannot take actually the truck and go with another carrier because you do not have anything to do with us. Let's say no links like uh, down payments or credits or finance deals with it. Awesome. You know, if that makes sense. All right. Yeah. That makes, that makes plenty of sense. Thank you very much. Um, yes, all sir. right. So the, now you said this, this is a percentage of the low. So, on av mm -hmm. on average uh percentage of the load on average what what are you drivers are bringing home a week um average two to three plus weekly okay uh, for the lease purchase yeah okay so that's uh let's just say ballpark gross to to let's say twenty five hundred on the top end and then with all the deductions all the deductions and everything and whatever the tax bracket that person may be in, they take home pay could be anywhere between, uh, say, 1500 to $1,200 a week. Uh, you're, you're saying about the net revenue? Yeah, net. Because the gross... Net revenue? Because yeah, I mean, the gross... Yeah, the gross is just something that depending... 
that depends on the driver, but also on the market. So, mm -hmm. like, um, the clothes that they're making is six to eight thousand dollars on an average basis. Oh, so, six to eight thousand dollars, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> six to eight thousand okay. dollars, and then two, and then two <laughs> to three, two to three thousand will be their take home, pretty much. Yes, um, there's drivers that they're making less than two thousand dollars, but we also try for them to do their max according to the driver's performance. How is the market? How their week was? Um, how many miles do they run daily? Like we just take care of that, and also by nothing is forced. Also, we try to help the driver reach their very maximum because uh, you know that let's say. Um, there's, I, I mean, I'm not talking bad about the others. Don't get me wrong. But oh, let's okay. say you you did the money, like you made the money this week. Mm -hmm. And then let's say you did enough to cover the cost with our company. And later, once everything is taken off, like some companies do not care how much the driver is going to bring home. If it's going to be 500 or $600, or it's going to be $5,000. So we care because we are working in building long-term relationships. And after, I mean, I would just want to suggest something that I believe that you might do it. Like once you finish the conversation, mm -hmm. you can let your drivers go to the group on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Believe me, they're going to see a lot about our companies. Uh, the review especially, or just the YouTube, there's a lot of drivers testimonials. Um, that we're all about the driver's success, first of all. It might sound cliche when I said driver's success, but it re it's really like how we do it here. Okay, that's what's up. And uh, uh, they will definitely uh, do that. You know, hopefully they'll do their due diligence when uh, when they be vetting the, uh, vetting the company. So that'll be awesome. Uh, driver facing cameras? Road facing cameras, which, uh, which we see the recordings in case of an accident only. Oh, for okay. uh, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm rolling. I'm rolling in the backwoods of uh, New Mexico uh -huh. right now. So if I <laughs> if I should get cut off or something like that, I will uh, pick back up the conversation. All right. So yeah, of uh, all right, so on average, uh, on average, that's 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 awesome. So, what other lanes do you guys have available? Like, do you, do you guys just run drive in and reefer, or uh, step deck, or what 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 uh, what trailers y'all run, and what lanes do you, what other lanes do you guys have? Uh, drive in, flatbed, and Conestoga. Kind of that's what we have available yeah okay. that's what we have available and all the trailers are all brand new um like we work with brand new equipment only uh, we just uh, also like take care of the tires like checking the brakes regularly there's no worn tires on our trailers but we always like check and replace the tires on the trailers just we don't want to risk when Got it comes it. to that Right. Uh, about the lanes, about the lanes, like we have the freight all over. Mm -hmm. We can run the driver to all 48 states. What we mainly focus is the Midwest, South, East Coast, Northeast, but we also have the freight to the West. Mm -hmm. So if the driver is willing to go to West, because uh, a lot of drivers are waiting, avoiding West, but you know, there can be times as it was this summer when the rates on the West were up to heaven. If the driver is willing to go there, you know, we're going to get something good that goes that way. Awesome. That's the if same not, thing. you know, <laughs> as I said, we're going to stick the driver out of the area where they do not want to actually go. Well, let, let me rephrase that. Um, areas like northeast and and over farther west wonder why the money is, is there is because drivers are refusing to go up in that area would would that be a fair assumption like uh to go up to the northeast yeah so say like you know a lot of drivers refuse to go up in the northeast that's why the uh that's why the freight rates is a little bit better up in that area because a lot of drivers refuse to 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 go up in that area would that be a good assumption um, I would say you might be right, mm -hmm. but, um, all, 
ultra is depending because you know that the trucking is actually actually a live business. So it just all depends. So sometimes um, there can be good freight, good rates up to the northeast. Like uh, there's some areas actually where, yeah, as you said, that's why I said you might be right. If um, like um, usually on those areas, here how it goes. Like um, usually those areas where the market's not that good, like typically they have good rates to send you there, but bad rates to, to get you out of there. Right. So okay. what's very important to do would be to find the rate per mile on the round trip. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. That'll Let's work. Let's say was the rate that you were going there will be the rate that you are going to uh, going to go out of there. If you're willing to go to northeast, if uh, I mean we're just saying northeast for an example. If you wanna, if you're willing to go to northeast, let's say the rate per mile there is like. Or uh, four dollars per mile, and then the rates to get you out of there would be like two dollars per mile. But if you see the mileage on the round trip, and then the uh, like rate per mile on the round trip would be like six dollars, mm -hmm. you'll still make the money. All right, awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, so road legends, right? Yes, sir. Road right. Legends. R O A D. And, all right. And y'all located where now? Um, we're located in uh Le Monde, Illinois. All right. Le six four. Yeah, six zero four three nine. All right. Le, all right, Lamont, Illinois. Road Legends. Uh, how do um? Well, if you like, I will send you my email. And you can yeah. uh, and you can send me all the information, uh, like how to get a hold, uh, how to get a hold of you, uh, the website they need to go to uh, to apply, and all that good of stuff. Um, is there is there a sign on bonus? Um, in the form of a sign on bonus for the lease purchase, we pay the driver's first truck payment. Oh, okay. And there's safety bonuses and there's referral bonuses. All right, awesome. Yeah. Uh, and uh, all right, so I know it, it, being that it's not you know not a formal sign on bonus, what do you guys do? What What do you guys do to keep your uh, to retain your drivers? Uh, well, what do we do to retain our drivers, sir? Is really care about how they're doing in the business and help them be like on the top in the business and be successful. So um, if like the driver is making the money, mm -hmm. they're going to be lease owner operators. They're making the money. They're paying off a truck. They're successful in the business, right? So that's what we care for. In the same time, we are working with them and offer them any type of service that they'll need to retain and be again right. successful in what they do because you know it's very important like um because not all the drivers let's say have good credit check uh, good credits and not all of them can afford a large down payment. So we just really want to help anyone that's willing to have a truck to actually own one. That's what we. That's why we do not have the company driver positions, but all the trucks that we have are for lease purchase. And every time that we have the trucks filled out, we always get new ones. So that's why we have the lease purchase constantly. Because awesome. there's like a really large like volume of people that's coming in like and signing up for the lease purchase awesome awesome okay road legends well thank you very much for your time uh thank you for yeah. your uh, for your honesty on the company uh i really do appreciate it me too sir well sean you can um text me your email on facebook mm -hmm. where we text at first so i'll just send you all the info and uh you can just uh, keep me posted if there's any more info that you might need um, with uh, using it to actually pass the message and just you know inform the drivers um, in the group that you have. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's any other things that we can do for you, I mean, just let us know. We'll be more than glad to help the drivers 
um, that's interested to try, you know, the lease purchase in uh, like we, the one that like we offer, not, actually. Not a problem. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, Sean. Well, thank you, too. Be safe, and I'll be looking forward to your email. Yes, ma'am. I'll talk to you in a minute. All righty. Thank you. Bye-bye.